That's what we need to get rid of. Mm -hmm. You know, get rid of the quid pro quo, yes, and we can see change. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. That's the only way it's going to happen because as long as those old heads are in the seats, mm -hmm. you're going to get the same result. Absolutely. Yep. It's like anything. It's like being a, an, an addict. Mm -hmm. Nothing changes if nothing changes. You see, yes, so. Sir. We've got to make some changes, and we got to make the changes by moving out the old and putting in the new. If you're going to be saved, you got to get rid of the old man and bring in the new man. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. that's what we're dealing with, basically. We've yeah. got to use a basic principle and deal with it. Yeah, and I believe we're there. I believe we're, this is the moment. This I is believe the moment where you know change starts. And I, I know we've heard change has been such an overused word. Uh, because of <laughs> President Obama, Obama in 2008, yeah. and it's continuing right. to hear that, but it, it rings true. Yeah. It really does because you know the, the change that we're talking about is you know not only for the betterment of our communities but for ourselves as well. Because you know, 15, 20 years down the road, we, we don't want to have the same conversations. We don't right. want to sit here and you know because my daughter will be hopefully out of the house. But um, you know, by that point, I, I want a better future for her. I want her uh, to look back on the work that we've done together and say that you know I was a part of that. You know what I mean? And, and, and because of the work that we've done, you know, she has better opportunities. Yes. And she has a better future. And we can do that. It's going to take hard work, but you know, we're ready for it. Yeah. Yeah.